Da na na na, da na na na, da na na na. Edgar TV. How do you guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and just a quick one to say if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button please do consider hitting it today we're on our way to 10,000 subscribers so as you know we are in Milton Keynes at the moment for this PDC summer series and that means we're we're locked in our little bubble which means we're not allowed to leave even just to go to the car for five minutes so we're inside we're, we're not allowed to go outside for any reason we're not allowed to go to the car the venue is all within the corridor system so yeah, we're in a little bubble basically. Now, what this means is whatever we bring with us is what we bring with us. So you can't, like I say, you can't go to the car even, for example. You can't go to the shop, you can't have a takeaway, you can't do things. So what did people, in the, these conditions, decide was essential to bring in their suitcases? Now, most people have brought two. So people have brought through a clothes bag, like I did myself, but I also brought through a snack bag, which... If you look at the video that I did when I first arrived, which that'll show you everything I brought with me. But what did other people put in their suitcase? I've managed to get some photos of some fellow professional dart players and we'll have a little look at what they brought in their case. So up first we'll take a look at Chris Doby, who appears to have a bit of a sweet tooth. He's brought mostly sweets and polos and crisps and things. I can see a pot noodle in there, but he hasn't really planned for the long haul. So he's going either to the one restaurant we've got on site or he's going to be doing a lot of room service because... Other than, I mean, the crisps, the Doritos could go with the pot noodle, maybe. You could scoop the pot noodle out with the cheesy Doritos. But other than that, it's just sweets. He's got a chalky dip there. I think he's underprepared for this one. I don't think he's brought enough there. He could burn through those sweets in a couple of days and then have nothing for the back end. So I think Chris Doby's underdone this slightly. Second, we're going to take a look at is Glenn. Now, working on the pot noodle theory, Glenn has got one here for every day and I think a spare one as well. He's gone for a, a little bit more of a healthy option than Chris, so he's gone for less crisps. He's got some snacker jacks. Don't know why he's gone salt and vinegar, so sour cream and chive are clearly the best way to go with that. He's got a couple of uh, skinny whips there, it looks like, at the top, and it looks like he enjoys nuts. You know, he's gone very nutty. You know, we've got nut bars and different variations of nuts in there. A couple of Jaffa cakes. So, sort of high energy foods there for Duzzer. He's gone a bit more sensible. Nathan Aspinall up third, and I tell you what, I don't believe for a single second that he packed those apples. I think the apples are in this suitcase purely for this photo. Look at everything else that's in there. Crackers and little snacks. He's got some pot noodles. Pot noodles and pastas seem to be the way forward for a lot of people. The crunches in there. I think the apples are purely for the photo. It doesn't match anything that's in there at all. Nathan, I'm not buying it. You didn't pack those apples, man. It's... Yeah, I'm not falling for that one. No apples in Nathan's case. I'm almost certain of it. Unless he shows me a photo of those apples in his room, I don't believe they got there. So on the live stream, we had car park cam when Steve West arrived. And I'm not surprised the man had a trolley. He's got two two-litre bottles there, loads and loads of bottles of water, loads of bottles of pop. No wonder the man needed a trolley. He'd have broken his back trying to carry this amount of pop all at once. That is a serious amount of weight just on that table alone. But there's one thing, he certainly won't be going home that heavy. You know, the cases are going to be a lot lighter, so there's positives here as well. But all I can see there are beverages. You know, he's got some Coke Zero there, so he's not going for the full-fat Coke. So he's really trying to... Uh, I don't know, I don't like Coke Zero. I don't get it. Um, it tastes horrible, don't it? Horrible. And there's just a little snippet. Nothing surprising. We... You're going to pack snacks. We're here for six days in one room, no out, no in. So it's quite hard to carry in. I've got a video on my channel if you want to see just what that was. I'm doing a video diary all the way through this. I'm going to try and trim it down into about an eight to ten minute vlog that you'll be able to watch and sort of see what it's like roughly. Uh, but hit the subscribe button to for that. Uh, I'll be doing live streams, so make sure you've got the uh, notification bells on and I'll be uploading videos as much as I can during this sort of isolation bit while we're doing the summer series i'll catch you tomorrow hopefully guys see you soon hit the subscribe button if you're not already edgar tv, edgar TV.